As you know from yesterday, today is your day to advertise your new product that you created yesterday in class. Um, when we advertise it, I'm going to actually have you doing something we don't use very often, and it's the Pages um, software on your computer. So you're going to be utilizing Pages on your Macs, um, which we don't use very often, but it's a good way to create a brochure. Now, some of you may create a brochure again. Some of you may think, meh, I like other, other means, and that's okay. So I just want to expose it to you so you see what it's like to create a brochure. So first of all, you're going to need to go to the, your Mac, and open up pages. When you do so, sometimes it goes to this. Mine does anyhow. So you can always go up to file at the top and just say new because I'm not opening an old file. Once you get that, you'll have all of these choices. Um, but like I said, you specifically want a brochure. So to find that, um, you can scroll through and get there. And they're actually the really last thing. So you can choose elegant brochure or museum brochure. I feel like museum is more fitting to what we want to do. So you choose it and it will open up for you. And as you see, it comes with all of these things in here already. Obviously, you don't want their pictures, but what's great about it is it, it makes it really easy for you to just click on it and then press delete and their images are gone. Or if you press Command Z, it comes back. When you've clicked on it, you can then replace it with your own image. Okay, and so you can put insert your own image directly on top of that. The easiest way to do that is to come over here to where it says Image and click on Image, um, and then you can say Replace, and it'll take you right to your desktop. It's an easy way. So if you take screenshots, you can just put that um, directly on your desktop uh, and then insert your image from there. Okay, so your image should obviously advertise your product. So you might want to make sure you take some solid pictures of what you've created and or show its purpose. Up here, I want you to write in English, step one, but um, as you go through, please make sure that you um, your top, top one should be your product name. And then down here, you could see say, by the creators at, and make up a business name, and then add your names there, okay? So then your front cover of your brochure is done. Now, please notice, yes, there are a lot of words in here, and if you are worried that you won't have enough to say about your product with all the requirements that I have, you can always change your font size to be larger and still have a full and complete looking brochure. Also, there are lots of spaces for pictures. Pictures are good. They People like pictures, so you can show um, the usability of your product and or for example if your product is helping save the world because it's removing pollutants maybe show pictures of how pollutants are destroying the world right so advertise your product in multiple ways if say yours is not the most beautiful image to take pictures of so get creative there the last thing I want to say as you're going through Obviously, on pages, it's not like a Google Doc, so all f all three or four of you cannot work on it at the same time, which is kind of frustrating. We're so used to screen sharing and being able to work together. Um, however, what you could do is create one Google Doc and say, you are in charge of advertising, um, hi highlighting the specials of our product. You are in charge of uh writing the recipe for our product. You are in charge of talking about the problems we know we still have and what version 2.0 might look like, okay? So give jobs to everyone. And if that is not enough, the last thing I would do is you could always make one of these images, like say right here, a QR code. And that QR code could lead to a video that advertises your product. So you could have a, a team member working on an advertisement video that can link to a QR code in your brochure. So then you'd have a multimedia format. This brochure will be set up next to your product as we present those to the class next week. So please make sure that your brochure looks beautiful, is professional, uses English, just kidding, but only kind of, um, but has capital letters and periods, is grammatically correct, proper spelling, something that you would be proud to display. I am going to allow you to print these in co color next week as well, so please make it something that is worth printing in color and displaying. Um, if you have any questions on how to do things, please make sure um, that you try to Google it. It's pretty self-explanatory though. If you want to add text, you click on it, highlight what you want to replace, and put your own words in. So. You could say recipe for our product. If you don't like the color 
of the text, if red is obtrusive to you, you can come over here and change your color. A lot of things on pages are pretty self-explanatory. Please play with it. The thing that I think is going to confuse us the most is we are not used to saving. You do need to save when you use pages. Again, you do need to save when using pages. So please make sure when you are done at the end of your um, time today, you make sure that you save what you have created. So you're going to say File, Save, or Command S. When you do that, it will say Save As to Your Desktop. That's fine with me. I don't care where you save it, but make sure you save it as something that's logical. Um, so material, new material, or whatever the name of your new material is, okay? And then once it's saved, you'll have to then upload what you've created into our assignment today. So when you're done, you're going to want to make sure that you submit your assignment and you'll have to attach a file, okay? And so you'll have to use the one that looks like a paper clip so you can attach an actual file rather than just a link. So I know that's a little different than normal, but please make sure that you remember to attach the file to your brochure at the end of the day today. Even if your brochure is not finished, I want to see what progress you got done. So please make sure you save your brochure and submit what you accomplished today. Thank you very much and have a great day.